Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to show you what I've been up to the last couple days. I managed to find myself a little grow chamber for a few of my plants here. I had um, sort of a little 10 gallon tank that I was using as a grow chamber in this exact spot. And it held about four or five little pots. Uh, no room for anything bigger. So I found these guys. This is just um, a little stand up outdoor greenhouse. They were on sale for super cheap. I think it was like 25 bucks. And yeah, it's great. It's huge compared to the little 10 gallon tank, of course. So I was able to bring in a whole bunch more of my plants from outside. And I'm just sort of getting it all set up. So it's just got the sort of zippers here on both sides so you can roll it up and tie it with these strings so it's at the top so you can work in there. What I did was I took the bottom shelf which I'm not going to have any plants at low and I put it up top here I just zap strapped it in place and then I put the 100 watt compact fluorescent light over it that was on the 10 gallon tank so the tanks not super bright in there it's got a hundred watts of compact fluorescent lighting the lighting actually throws off quite a bit of heat as well so it's warming it in there quite nicely uh, I have to be careful it's kind of next to a window so this time of year it wouldn't be bad but in the summertime this could get really really hot so I'd have to be careful this is only a temporary thing to to winter over some of the warmest growing plants um, that were out in the greenhouse and not necessarily happy but um, yeah they're seem to be fine in here there's a little bit of humidity I don't know if you can see that on the the side so I know it's good and humid in here and I originally just had some Nepenthes growing in the 10 gallon tank the Baikal Karata there and the Clipade at the back sorry it's you're viewing it through the plastic so it's gonna look a little distorted um, but I was able to put a few more Nepenthes in there a few Phalaenopsis are in there a few sundews, I'll just move to that side there. And yeah, I just put a little assortment of stuff in here and it took away, you know, four feet of shelving from the greenhouse as well, so the greenhouse is not quite so crowded this time of year. The Phalaenopsis are down a little bit lower. It's still nice and warm in there though. I put a bulb of phylum back there, a warm growing one. There's another Nepenthes back there, an Ampularia. And yeah, so this shelf down here is more shaded than the one up top, of course. But this is just a temporary thing to sort of get them growing through the winter. A couple dendrobiums back there, some warmer growing ones. Another Phalaenopsis. I haven't got any of the big Phalaenopsis in here, like in Spike. It's just not that big, so it wouldn't hold anything like that. But for 25 bucks, how can I go wrong? I mean, look at it. I thought when I went in there and I saw them on sale that it was for like the tabletop version and so I was totally surprised when I seen it was a stand-up version like this. I think the only other thing I need to do to circulate some of this heat because I can feel up here it is really warm if you like reach your hand in and this whole top area is quite warm to get the the warmer air down there I need to buy like a little tiny I don't know ten dollar clip-on fan that just will move the air around in here a bit it's only been up for a day so I'm not too worried about it over short term but I think good air movement in there is going to be key for our long-term success and this is only going to be just until the weather gets nicer and I can move the plants back outside remember I'll be building the bigger greenhouse in the spring hopefully so all of these will go back out and go back into that one but anyways cheap do-it-yourself indoor grow chamber I think um, it's a work in progress but it's looking pretty good so far anyways guys thanks for watching